What's up guys? Welcome to our next thing. Now I've pre-recorded this so that it'll be a lot easier for you guys and me to make this rocket. So uh, we're going to get started. There's a few things you're going to need. Uh, first thing you're going to need is, well not first, but one of the things is cardboard. So any bit of cardboard would be great. The next thing you're going to need is a bottle. So it could be like a two liter pop bottle. It could be um, a single liter pop bottle, something like that. We're using a uh, apple cider vinegar bottle, bottle, which is you know the best bottle ever. The next thing you're going to need is a cork, and so you want to make sure that your cork fits um, just barely inside. So you really got to squeeze it in. Okay. The next thing you're going to need is you're actually going to need a ball pump tip. So whatever you use to pump up a ball, you're going to need that needle. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this. I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to push the needle through the cork so it pops out the very end, okay? You're also going to need to find some way to pump up the bottle. So if you are using, using this cork, you're going to need to find either like a bicycle pump or air compressor, something like that nature. So obviously this is a little bit more in depth, but um, I want to do something a little bit more for like older kids since we haven't really done a whole lot of that yet. So anyway, we're going to make a rocket that's powered by water and air. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get your bottle. And what we do with this bottle is we want to make sure that we are making um, the fins. We need fins to keep it upright because the bottle is going to sit just like this on the ground. But it needs some fins to come down to the ground to keep it off the ground. So what we did is we put the bottle down right here. And then we drew out some lines. So you can see there's a lot of lines here. Um, but we drew out um, uh, basically a little piece of paper. We drew out lines to see exactly where we wanted to cut. And so once you draw out the thin that shape that you want, you can cut it. And I went ahead and cut it ahead of time. And so this is what our fin is going to look like, just like that. So you want to make sure that the fin has a large part of it that can be glued onto the side of the bottle. And you also want to make sure that there's enough space below the bottle for your cork and your needle and whatever you're using to pump up the bottle with has enough room underneath um, between here and the ground. So you just need to think about that. Okay, so now that we've gotten our fin, we wanna be able to trace it onto our cardboard because we're gonna to need to use this cardboard and attach it to our bottle and uh, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but one thing you're going to need is you're going to need a hot glue gun. So I've got my glue gun warming up already. So the, what we'll do is we'll just take this and we're just going to trace, trace it so we can make another fin that's exactly the same size. So I'm going to make three fins. So two more of these. I'm gonna draw them out on here, and then I'm gonna cut them, and then I'm gonna attach them to my rocket. My rocket, okay? Okay, so now that I have all of my fins drawn, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some scissors and cut them out. You can also take One of these X-Acto knives, um, but you need to have obviously like a parent do it with you. So um, I'll probably use this since I'm am a parent. So here we go. All right guys, so I have all three of my fins right here and they're, they're pretty much the same size. Um, if there's a little difference, it's probably not that big of a deal, but pretty much all the same size. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these fins, glue these fins on the side just like that. So let's go do that. So I drew these lines here and these lines are gonna give me a reference on where I need to glue my fins. So what I'll do is I'll take these fins and I'll glue them right on these lines right here. 
So that's where I'm going to start. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is take this and make sure that we can get this needle through it. So you can tell it's not going to go all the way through. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to cut, um, well, cut it down a little bit. So I'm going to take my marker here and I'm probably going to, a lot of these things have a little hole right here. You see, you see a little hole right there? They also have a hole at the top. And so even if it doesn't go all the way to that first hole, it can, as long as the top's poking out, that's all you really need. So this thing you can see is kind of hammered a little bit, but what we'll do is, I think I want it like right about there. So I'll make a mark right here. And remember, you always want to cut off less than you think you might need so that you can always cut more off later. But if you cut too much off, you can't really put it back together, can you? So we're going to go cut that. So now we're going to take this, or we're going to poke it through, and it's going to take a little bit of effort, so you'll just want to be careful not to bend this. And what you could do is you could actually take a nail, which I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a nail, and I'll put that in there first, and then I'll put that right in behind it. All right, guys, so I'm going to take this, Put it in there. Once I get it started, I can actually just push it down. Get that right through the middle. So now I'm gonna take my pliers here. Just gonna pull it out, pull it through. And I have a little bit of a hole there. Should be make it easier to stick my. Oops. There we go. So that's, that's about perfect right there, just kind of where I wanted it. So now we have the hole there, and we'll be able to take our rocket and put it in. So now when you hook it up to the air compressor, it should shoot, and this one's shoot straight up. So um, you can tell, it's a high seals. Hi. Yeah, you can kind of tell that it's not exactly level. If you look at it from this way, you can kind of see it's kind of leaning a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to trim the bottoms of these two over there. We're going to trim those up just a little bit. That's better. That's, that's a little more level. Cool. All right. So we're going to fill this up with water and we'll get the air compressor hooked up and then we're going to fire this thing in the air. All right guys, it's time to test it out. We're outside. I have my rocket here, which all the fins are on. And then I also have my air. So you can see that I've connected my needle, my air needle to my air compressor hose. So you could use a bike pump, you could use something else. Um, I'm using this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get full water, or ha probably halfway full of water, and then we're actually going to turn on the air and see what happens. So let's do this. And also I'd like to point out my cool shades that I stole from Pastor John. They're amazing. That's probably good. Wow. Wow. 
All right, well, that was a lot more successful, although you can tell I only have three fins. I lost a fin in the process. So we're gonna glue this on and we're gonna try again.